Hi, my name is Mike and in today's video we want to take a look at the most affordable Gibson Les Paul, the Tribute. Uh, is it even a Les Paul? <laughs> If you ask me if it sounds like a Les Paul, if it looks like a Les Paul, and if the headstock even says Les Paul model, um, of course it is a Les Paul. So you might have seen I have a lot of uh, Les Paul guitars, but for me one rule is I don't need two same guitars. So each guitar is unique in its sound and has normally to totally different specs like pickups. We have custom buckers, burst buckers, like puff style, low output, and this one is a little bit hotter. So it pushes the amp a little bit better and a little bit more and I use it for high gain stuff or hard rock rock. So the pickups are really nice, but uh, what about the rest? So you know, normally tributes don't have a binding and you see this has a binding, but this is fake. Uh, I just added some vinyl. Uh, it's like your high, high quality vinyl you use for card wrapping and I bought a lot of colors to match this cream color and I just added a stripe for a fake binding. I really prefer this look, all the cream parts are glossy and the satin finish, it's a very nice combination. But of course, some will hate it, some will love it. Um, for me, it's very cool. I really like it like, like this. I also changed the tuners. Uh, it's the same. I prefer this uh, pressed in bushings just for the look. For this 2018 model, it has no weight relief, but it's very light. It's uh, 3.7 kilogram. Um, Later models will have weight relief. Also, the 2018 version has a mahogany neck, so um, later models will have a maple neck. Um, it's a different sound, not, not extremely different, but some will prefer it, some, some not. So this is just different. Not better or worse, it's just different. It's a very resonant guitar. One reason might be the very thin layer of, of paint, of the satin uh, nitro, nitro paint, and uh, you can hear it. Very good, very, very nice sounding, even without the amp. So let's go on with the specs. So of course you get uh, traditionally two volume and two tone pots, an aluminum tailpiece, a natural aluminum bridge, very light, it's like uh, 22 grams. Um, of course, a three-way switch, trapezoid inlays, a Wolfsburg fingerboard, and also no binding on this, on this neck. And we have medium jumbo frets. So, Totally normal specs for Les Paul. Yeah, let's find out how it sounds. So let's start with the blues. I record the loop and then just playing to it. to from 10 to 7 you can see it's very clear okay. so even without the pedal it's but now let's try a pedal a little mid gain stuff Okay, and then 
Let's add some more gain. It's a very versatile guitar, very good for rock, also for blues, for clean sound. So the last question is, who should I recommend this guitar? Who should buy this guitar? And here are my thoughts to it. First of all, affordable does not mean it's cheap. No, it's not a cheap guitar. In, in Europe it costs around about uh, 1,200 to 1,300 euros. But I found out that the Tribute series is uh, discontinued. In Europe, it's still available, but as you on the on the Gibson uh, American website, um, you cannot buy this anymore. You currently pay around 800 to 1,000 euros for used tribute here in Europe, in good or very good conditions. If you consider that the retail price for my 2018 model, in that time in, in the year 2018, was 850 euros new, the Gibson already has one a big advantage. The guitars are generally very stable in value. The first electric guitar I had was a 100 euros Strat copy and that played terrible, but I still own it. Yeah, from today's perspective, I would have preferred to spend a little more money and buy a decent guitar straight away. If it has to be a Les Paul, I would recommend, for example, an Epiphone Les Paul. Very, very good guitars for, for a standard you pay around about 700 euros new. But for this money or nearly this money, you also could buy a used tribute. Yeah, the guitar plays very well and as I mentioned the pickup sound very really cool. Hopefully you could hear this in my sound demos. I'm just recording with an iPhone at the moment so sorry for this, a new microphone is on the way. But it's a very good sounding guitar and this is I would say one of the most important things on the guitar that it sounds good. The craftsmanship is also very good, I have nothing to, to complain about. So if I had to choose for example between a new Epiphone Les Paul Standard and a used Tribute I think I would go to the Tribute because I really, really like the pickups. So the Epiphone pickups are getting really, really better and they are not bad at all. But this pickup combination for me, that was the reason to buy this guitar. So who else should buy this guitar? Um, someone looking for a solid guitar without, in Germany we'd say Schnickstack. So um, not a lot of bling bling like bindings and uh, glossy finish and uh, a pearl Gibson logo. All these things you don't get here. but. It's not necessary for a good sound and a good playability. Oh, that's it for the tribute. I hope you liked the video. As you might have noticed, um, I just started on with YouTube videos. That is my third video. So it would be very helpful if you write a short comment. If you like the video, of course, if you don't like the video, what can be better? If you like the video, you can like it. And of course, the best thing would be getting some new sex subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. Yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.